excuse me, since 2008, when I contacted John Brown, I called him from Jerusalem, Israel on the phone and invited him to come visit me. He said that uh, he was not going to find oil until he met uh, some spiritual person that was going to lead him the way. Well, it turns out I'm the person he was supposed to meet. His plane was delayed. My name is Joseph Yom Tov, and I'm a refugee from Egypt. I've lived here in Israel for 13 years, and in 2008, I invited John over, and it turns out his project is called the Joseph Project. And anyways, since that time, and before that, he has known he's not going to find oil, and he has refused to meet with me even after he said he was going to meet with me. Now, this is John Brown, uh, and what has happened uh, since I made the video and this website in 2010, if we see the details of what's going on with John Brown, let's see if this... Okay, now at that time, John Brown owned 3,521,000. My name is Joe shares. He owned 49% of the common stock. Now, he apparently doesn't own any stock. So he sold 49% of the company while it was worth money. It was worth about $5 a share at that time. Now it's down below $1.50. And it's now uh, December 24, 2013. And in 2010, John Brown had over three and a half million shares that he sold at, at, at five dollars a share uh, or, or, or thereabouts uh, since he doesn't have any more shares. Now, let's look at what John Brown has been doing since 2008. Uh, now, let's see here on the Internet. This is a more recent story with John Brown that he put up on his website, on his YouTube channel. And John said, no, I have no money. <laughs> I said, at least he's not a crook and not a liar. While it's been a 29-year journey, a faith journey, God has been faithful every step of the way to provide the people and the money, the finances to do this. People get upset with me because John Brown will always say when, I'll always say if and when. Okay, now this was the former CEO, and he's sold out his stock constantly. All the insiders who own most of the stock, they're selling everything out constantly while they're telling everybody to buy. He's smart enough to say if and when. Now let's go to their website, okay? And if we look at... The website, this is Zion Oil's website, when will, when will oil be found in Israel? See, they keep, now John keeps saying when, 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 uh, which makes it a crime as far as I'm concerned, uh, and I believe as far as the SEC is concerned. Now let's just look up the, the, the number 666. There we have it. On January 2009, I remember I contacted him in 2008, and I said since that time he has been in open rebellion against God, and he has known that Zion Oil is not going to find any oil, and I have said this as well. And look, they issued 666,000 warrants at $7 exercise price. Uh, and uh, this is another part of their scam to get money out of people uh, issuing warrants. Uh, you pay $7 uh, 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 for the warrant, uh, you exercise it at $7, uh, but you're hoping it's going to go up to you know $500 or something like that if they find oil. It's, it's a big money shell game scam that they're fleecing the church with. And their uh, purpose really is to steal the resources of Israel, not to bless Israel. 
Now let's look at some more uh, videos from uh, John Brown. He uses all these pastors who he gives money to. I've contacted this pastor. He's refused to contact me back. And so he's being exposed, uh, Pastor uh, uh, David Davis. Was now and drill deep to chapter 43. 43, yeah. Isaiah chapter 43. And he talked about now I, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Amen. So God gave that to him to give to the congregation, and certainly it was no accident that four of, the, of our senior officers were all there, and it's affected a couple of them pretty, pretty good, by the way. So to kind of close that story off, that testimony off, what happens is the next day they go to Jerusalem and they get on a bus and yeah. the, the, the guys are changed, you know, quite conveniently by God. And one of them starts talking about go deeper now, go deeper now on the bus. On the bus. Yeah. The, no. You see, they're laughing all the way at the bank. They're all, they're all sitting there. Uh, uh, they're not losing any money at all. They're, they're making millions of dollars. Uh, I don't know how much the pastor is making, but uh, uh, I'm sure he's getting a, a hefty cut uh, uh, and bringing it up to his congregation. Uh, uh, go ahead, pastor. Uh, prove me wrong. To tell me how much money you didn't get from uh, John Brown. Okay, and it continues on. That was the previous one was in 2009. Now here in in 2012, he's still snookering everybody. This one's interesting because they're finding oil all around John, and everybody's finding oil in Israel except for John. Sure, we talked about Asher, the, the blessings of the twelve tribes. Pass that baton. Yeah. Well, I think this is the one that. Uh, was what I'm talking about. But it's been discovered, and he has the same scripture God gave him that he gave me in Deuteronomy chapter That's in June 2013. 13 through 16. Well, let me point out a couple things that yeah. I think are fascinating. Right. First of all, we're talking about Megiddo, which in, in the Bible is Armageddon, yeah. Har, yeah. Megiddo, the yeah. Mount of Megiddo. Yeah. So this, many believe, is the site of the final battle right. between good and evil. And this whole valley here uh, it is a very, very strategic place, very strategic. both historically and in the last right, days. Right. The other thing that I think is so fascinating is when you began, there was no oil no. found. Now, uh, offshore of Haifa, straight through here, straight so, through here, yeah. one of the largest natural gas discoveries, enough for Israel for the next 20 years or 150 something. 150 right? years. 150 They've got years. enough gas already. And three or four years ago, before this happened, most Israelis said, we don't believe it. Where's the gas? Because uh, you tell us there's gas there. But when they found this gas, they found there's a U.S. government survey that says there's over 133 trillion cubic feet of gas offshore. So that you, you didn't know anything about that when you went. That's been discovered. Yeah. And now I read a fascinating article recently that in the Negev, mm -hmm. here in Judah, mm -hmm. south of Hebron and yeah. so on, yes. they've discovered oil shale, yes. which you can extract by heat, yes. and it doesn't even need to go through a refinery. It's so pure. It's so pure. And what's happened How is much? 250 billion barrels. They, they, they drill it <laughs> so far. There's another 40 million in the goal line, a billion in the goal line, but this one here, they drill one test well already, and they built a laboratory there, and they tested the shale, and the shale actually can produce that much. So it it has the potential right today, not going to be found, it's been found, it has the potential already to make Israel the number two producer or exporter of petroleum oil in the world. The wealth the of whole, the nations. The this world. is absolutely amazing. So you have offshore mm -hmm. discovery yeah. of natural, huge yeah. natural gas yeah. reserves, and now the oil shale that just needs to be brought out with And heat. our other license we have, we have another license up here in the Jordan Valley, that right next to that, they are also they've discovered another 40 billion uh, barrels of, of shale, and our license is right next to that too. So we yes, but you're not going to find any oil, John. You said it yourself. You've got to meet with that spiritual person, and that is me. And what I would tell you is, you have to reverse your numbers. Instead of taking 88 percent. Of the resources out of Israel is what you intend to do is suck out 88% of the money is what you've already said you're going to do uh, leave Israel with 12% and you call that blessing the land no I call that a highway robbery okay John 
so let's continue with uh, John's expose. Now here, John is doing more of the same. In Genesis 49.1, Jacob fleecing the, the, spoke about the blessings of the 12. Using the Bible. He said, this, is, shall, this will be the blessings in the last days. He specifically said, Using the Bible, get people to, 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 to invest. Now let's see why John cares so much about this if they're not finding oil. We already know that he owns 49% of the company or did own it. He sold his stock while it was worth money. Shrewd uh, investor in that regard. Now let's look at the latest filings. Uh, Form 8K for Zion Oil and Gas, filed November 2013. Change of directors. Uh, Richard Reinberg, uh, he got out. Uh, uh, he bailed, bailed uh, a, a sinking ship. He could see what's happening. Now here's what what they're going to be uh, giving John effective. January 2014. He's going to get a salary of $231,000, okay? And he's going to be able to purchase 25,000 shares at one penny each, okay? You're, you're buying them uh, uh, at $1.50. Most of you bought it at 5 or $7, but he's going to be able to buy it at a penny a share and exercise it uh, 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 every 90 days, and on top of that, he's going to get a bonus for $30,000. doesn't say what for. You know, maybe it's for him not finding any oil and, and being able to quote scripture. I don't know what the bonus is for. It doesn't say, you know, but he just, I guess, deserves a bonus for no reason. So this is the real uh, John Brown, Okay. This is the real John Brown. Here, let's let's have a let's have a look at uh, <laughs> Okay. So, in any case, this is John Brown. He's just a charlatan, a fraud, and he's been that way at least since 2008 when he told me that he will not find oil until he meets a special person. And he lied to me. He told me he was going to meet with me. Uh, when you get a call from Jerusalem, Israel, from Joseph, and you're digging in Israel expecting to meet somebody, in order to find oil, and your program is called the Joseph Project, well, maybe you should have just opened your eyes, John. But it's all too late for that. If you're going to invest in Zion Oil, it'll be money down the drain. Okay, John Brown with Zion Oil. Guess what? Guess what these girls are here doing? They're here to protest against Zion Oil and the pollution that they're doing to the valley and to Israel. So instead of finding oil, instead of blessing Israel, you and everybody who has vested, invested in Zion Oil are polluting the land and are making the people here angry and all you're trying to do is steal the wealth of Israel. You're not trying to help Israel at all. Shut down your oil project. <laughs> Let's go uh, 